Nollywood actress, producer and director Omoni Oboli sent message to victims of domestic abuse using a combination of the TikTok app and Instagram. Have a look. Hi, I would like to order a pizza. Ma'am, you're calling 911. I know. What's your special of the day? Are you okay, ma'am? No, it's for delivery. The address is 104 Carver Street. Ma'am, is there someone I can talk to? Yes, I would also like a pepperoni pizza. Police is on their way, ma'am. Meanwhile, can you stay on the phone? No, thank you. Don't take too long. I'll leave the lights on. She shared the video on Instagram with a caption, My heart goes out to the people quarantined with their abusers. Seek help, call someone, do something, don't die for nothing. I'm praying for you. May God give you the strength you need to change your situation. End of quote. Yeah. There is a lot of um, NGOs that are working on that, have been working on that. They're actually considered um, essential service. So my mom is also in that um, industry. So we work for Women's Custodium of Nigeria that handles human trafficking, um, gender-based abuse, really. It's crazy to see the numbers that have been coming out. When, before the lockdown, there were about 60 million people in database in Nigeria. This 60 is 60 million. 60 million people. 60 million people. Six zero million wow. people. This is including children, though, okay. or females, women, and children. Um, who have been registered. So this is not the part of the people who have not been registered. As of um, lockdown, it became 80 million people. Wow. So that's 20 million more people coming out to agencies around Nigeria asking and pleading for help. Um, stop with abusers and things like that. So it is a horrible situation. So it's safe to say situation. that half of the citizens of Nigeria are abusers. Yes. Pretty much. Wow. And you know what's Shame even more crazy <laughs> is that we have more women than men in Nigeria. So if you look at that population, that means most of our men are abusers. If not... So um, I just I would like to know, um, based on this database, there are no men who have also registered? Or we is, only is just focus on, on women, women or, and children. If, oh, there okay. is, if there are men and they are, these, the data is not significant enough to even mention it. Mm. So mm. it's not a lot. Um, and that's crazy to me. That, and I, my heart really goes out to people like that. There's schedules that I know I, I personally used to work on with my mom once a month where you um, plan and volunteer to uh, kind of like feed children for the month. And that's the only time these children get to eat. That database alone was already 6 million people. So now I'm thinking there's 6 million children out there mm -hmm. that can't eat because we, we're not being able to continue that initiative after, um, since the lockdown, lockdown started. So our, our problems are very different. I mean, I've had conversations with people abroad and talking about Trump not really taking things seriously and they're really complaining. And I understand that, but Africa has a genuinely unique problem that is critical. And that's why I can't understand people who, are, who don't on um, see the value of feminism or any other type of um, mo um, movements that are critical to people who are desperate because we have a lot of them here um, it's good that she's done it in a more um, digestive way where she's put acting into the scene and broken it down but it is a real issue and people haven't actually stopped talking about it now they're trying to get um, the government to give certain people essential service passes so that we can start to like work on getting these women back um, away from That's people and we're trying to look at maybe shelters for churches like all these churches are empty mm -hmm. and schools are empty maybe we can start to put mattresses in there to remove them out but it's so hard to plan anything because um, a lot of people are restricted okay before you before you give your take um there are numbers um rolled out by the Lagos state government for these people so if if you fall in that category or you're being abused in any way shape or form please call these numbers don't be quiet like um omoni Boli has rightly said i think we said we have frank donga back online but before that if i do you want to add something um i just want to say that to every woman out there that is stuck with an abuser right now you don't have to die alone you need to speak up like she shared the um the hotline just yeah, the make hotline. a call and um speak to somebody and um you don't have to let them know. Just do it discreetly and just save your life. Your life is the most important thing. Okay.